It's only six months old and has already completed 40 million hours of research on COVID-19. The Southern Hemisphere's newest and most powerful supercomputer is a collaboration between the Australian National University and CSIRO here in Canberra. The computer is called Gardi, a Ngunnawal word which means to search for. The scale of the Southern Hemisphere's biggest supercomputer defies belief. And overnight, it was named among the most powerful on the planet. To have it all come together and uh, see it land at number 25 is just super exciting for us. It's as powerful as 60,000 desktop computers, uses roughly the same power as a small suburb, and the information it stores is equivalent to every book published in every language in the past 500 years. The Gardi machine does simply unimaginably enormous calculations. Recent analysis of weather patterns surrounding 2017's deadly cyclone Debbie gave insight into its impact on national weather systems. Which then allows us to predict what's going to happen next time around when we get in a similar situation. It can also offer real-time analysis of bushfires and give firefighters on the front line invaluable details of fire behaviour. Being able to drill down to you know, resolution on the order of 100 metres or so is absolutely critical to predict where's the, fire going, where's the front going to go next. As COVID-19 gripped the planet, the national computational infrastructure was already turning the power of its supercomputer towards the virus, seeking to understand it while searching for ways to limit its spread and find a cure. And allocated 40 million hours of compute time across three projects which are flying now. That's equivalent to a single computer working non-stop on calculations for 4,500 years. Researchers are hopeful of a breakthrough that could have global implications on the virus. The scope of this supercomputer boggles the mind what it can do and how it can do it. But it also has a cultural element. It ties back with the longest ongoing continuous cultures on the planet. It's a marriage of cultures. We've got our conservative computers, our supercomputer with our ancient Ngunnawal language being paired together to bring great good for everyone in Australia. This artwork was designed by Ngunnawal artist Lanice Church and tells a story of gathering knowledge. The computer's name, the Ngunnawal word Gadi, means to search for, a fitting name as it seeks answers to the problem of COVID-19. Dan Borsha, ABC News, Canberra.